Welcome back to another NFL offseason video and the Minnesota Vikings are going to be a huge conversation point of this offseason because not only do they have the top two unrestricted free agents that can't be tagged in Daniil Hunter and Kirk Cousins, but they have a contract situation pending with Justin Jefferson. And according to Mike Florio of NBC, the problem isn't going to be the money when you're talking about these contracts, but it's the guaranteed money because historically with the Vikings ownership, they don't believe in guaranteed giving out fully guaranteed contracts to non-quarterbacks, but when you're talking about Justin Jefferson, you almost have to make an exception. I mean, he's putting up historically great wide receiver numbers since he's entered the league, so we'll see if they end up budging on that because Jefferson's camp could get frustrated, and Jefferson for sure deserves a fully guaranteed contract with the numbers he's put up, and as far as Kirk Cousins, if they don't want to give him a fully guaranteed contract, as you get closer and closer to the unrestricted free agency, especially at the scouting combine, when there's a lot of tampering inevitably going on between his agent and some other teams, whether that's the Falcons or a couple other teams that are looking for a quarterback, they could be talking big money. And when you get desperate, you could pay that guaranteed money. That's how the Vikings got Kirk Cousins in the first place. He was between the Vikings and the Jets when he was leaving Washington and chose the Vikings because they gave him that big fully guaranteed contract. So it's definitely going to be fascinating to see how the Vikings scenario plays out with a Justin Jefferson and possible Kirk Cousins contract. For the next part of this video, according to Connor Hughes, Jets reporter of SNY, some people within the Jets organization like the idea of Sam Howell, assuming the commanders don't keep him around as a backup quarterback. They could both like him as a backup to Aaron Rodgers this next year and have some upside to be under Aaron Rodgers and develop into a potential starter for the future. He has a big arm. He had some games where he absolutely lit it up with Washington. Obviously, he had some turnover problems. There was a reason why he fell in the draft. Draft, but this would actually kind of be a very interesting backup under Rodgers. The Pittsburgh Steelers have a quarterback situation to address as well, and there's reports that there's internal division within the building of who they'd rather have between Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph, but there's reports that are saying they don't want to go get a veteran like Russell Wilson or trade for Justin Fields, but then there's also reports that are saying the players are kind of politicking. That's how it was quoted for Mason Rudolph to be the QB1, even though it seems like he wants to go and get a chance where he can have an opportunity he might not want to re-sign if he just knows he's going to be the backup under Kenny Pickett so it's definitely an interesting situation for the Steelers and definitely worth noting that they might not want a quarterback like Justin Fields because that seems like it could be a good fit subscribe if you like these videos that's what's going on in the NFL